How did we get here? To understand race relations in Colorado, we have to go back more than 150 years when Colorado was still a territory. In 1864, during the Civil War, Colonel John Chivington led a group of volunteers, mostly Union soldiers, to Sand Creek, Colorado. There, they found a group of Native Americans who sought protection from the Army. Instead, soldiers killed 150 Cheyenne and Arapaho men, women, and children. When Colorado became a state in 1876, most Native Americans who remained were forced onto reservations. As Native Americans suffered tremendous loss, hoping to gain a bit of freedom, Black, Latino, and Asian settlers made their way to the Centennial State. But like the South, racial terrors were also present in the Wild West. In 1880, on Halloween, the first race riot in Denver's history took place after an argument between a Chinese man and white man at a saloon in what was known then as Chinatown. Many Asian Americans were hurt and one died. Vigilante justice ramped up as Colorado moved into the 1900s, with lynchings a common atrocity amid the rise of the Ku Klux Klan. In 1923, Denver Magistrate Benjamin Stapleton's KKK membership helped catapult him to mayor of Denver. He later denounced the Klan. In 1936, a new racial divide formed as Governor Edwin Johnson called in the National Guard to prevent Mexican migrant workers from even entering Colorado. In the 1950s and 60s, African-American civil rights protests broke out, state equality laws passed, but the social climate was slow to catch up. The events you are seeing depict the West High blowout, March 21 in 1969. 1969, West High School. Latino and other students of color walked out over their treatment by school staff. It would take until 1983, 14 years after that protest, for Denver to elect its first Latino mayor, Federico Pena. Black Coloradans would wait until 1991 for the election of Denver's first black mayor, Wellington Webb. From the early 2000s to present day Colorado, race relations are more complex as the demographics of the state continue to change. The issue of racism is now intertwined with immigration. They don't know if when they leave for work one day, they'll come back to their family. That's a reality that I've lived with every day. Homelessness. Retired gentrification, police brutality, and as the unhealed pieces of the past fuse with the painful present, we see a picture of a state experiencing a racial reckoning. 